growing up, um, I was confused a lot about um, how I felt. I knew that I didn't feel like a boy. I knew that I, I felt like a girl. Sydney as a child was anxious, but delightful. There was always a sense of um, anxiety that we never could really figure out why. I'm Episcopalian, and I, I would pray at night that I would wake up and um, be a girl. I didn't really know what being transgendered was until I was probably about in middle school. For a long time, I thought maybe I was just gay, but I, I knew that I didn't feel like a boy, so I, I knew I, it wasn't the same, quite the same thing as being gay. As she approached puberty, um, we noticed that she was becoming increasingly frustrated. She was dyeing her hair a lot, changing color, not seeming to be really happy in the skin that she was in. I started to talk to my parents a little bit more. I first told them I liked men. She then came back and said, you know what, I think um, I was born in the wrong body. That's when it kind of started to unfold that I was transgender. My parents were very supportive. At first, I think they were maybe a little bit scared for me. Um, they were really worried about people picking on me um, and some of the, like, the hardships that I was going to have to face. Um, but I know it wasn't anything about them being unsupportive. Um, it was just about them uh, being scared for their girl. So, What we discovered is that, by and large, everybody who cared about Sydney supported her. Family, friends, church, really all sort of rallied behind Sydney and, and by our family. I had started my transition in the mid-year of 10th grade. Surgery was pretty much what I knew I wanted. There wasn't a question in my mind that the surgery had to be done. It was it's just a medical procedure that, that was medically necessary for her to become the person that she was really born to be. I am from Virginia. There were no resources there, so we had to look um, a little bit further away. Dr. Blue Ann Lagner, she really understood my story and she wanted to help me become who I'm supposed to be. I was really impressed that um, NYU Langone had the robotic surgery. I was really, really pleased with the hospital staff. They were really knowledgeable about the care that I needed, um, which I was really impressed by. I feel safe not only physically, but also um, emotionally. Since the surgery has um, taken place, I almost immediately noticed that, uh, that a weight was lifted from her. She, I think, carries more confidence uh, with herself. She felt comfortable and being who she was, and that, that was really um, <laughs> touching as a mother <laughs> um, to see that transformation. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> um, to know that she wasn't struggling. It's been a, a very positive experience, not only for her, but for the entire family. One thing that I would like to pass on to any family who's, who's going through a similar situation is I would say realize it's not going to be as scary as you think it is. Start to educate yourself right away so that you can help your child or whatever loved one and then encourage them to educate themselves about uh, the journey that they're about to embark on and surround yourself with people who are going to love and, and support you. Find the people that love you for who you are and bring them along with you to support you along the way. I do plan on going uh, to like cosmetology or beauty school, doing makeup and hair, photography, fashion design. I have never felt happier um, in my entire life. I've never felt more like myself. NYU Lingone and their staff um, has helped me not start the new chapter of my life, but start the new book.